Hello, 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 ladies, gentlemen. Welcome back to episode number nine of our Zero to Be series. If you guys are unfamiliar with the series, check out episode number zero. This is basically a PvP account. We do arenas, we do OPRs, sometimes wars, and uh, we hope to obtain full best in slot gear. All right, all that being said, let's jump into the episode. Okay, okay, there's potential, let's see. No bad potential for extremely good okay okay we have full beast potential right here on the strength dex light gloves refreshing okay so not a full beast however i will be running it over resi shirking because i personally prioritize freedom okay we're getting crazy subs oh bonk he didn't make it keen useless vicious keenly not actually the worst but we're gonna take salt up to 50 pp track not bad honestly not bad we now get more gypsums and stuff and we also have OPR chest. And we get a refreshing move shirking. And reverse step shirking. So both of these are pretty bad. However, if this did land on scream, it could be alright. This one isn't it, but that's okay. Strength deck shirking resi on a heavy. We'll up this. This has potential to be beast for a medium. It's ref ward shirking resi. Ah, it's strength decks. If this was a single stat. I could count it, but you don't really go heavy with any of the builds, so I can't really count it as a full beast. But it's so fucking close, it's like a half of a beast. Got him. Surely this is the one. There it is, finally. Alright, let's take a look, what do we got here? That's pretty bad, bad potato, let's just complete it. Focus, ref evasion in Vig is bad, and the Resi reverse tab is pretty bad, so nothing too good in this one. It's looking rough. Uh, int con with ice damage, but it's ref ward, so it's kinda shit. If that was fire damage, it could be interesting, but... Yeah, I don't think I'll be upping that. Dim shield bash, sturdy ref ward, not the best, not the best in general. Let's go another one. Got him. Oh, you just got completely schooled, homie. Like, what are we doing right now? Talk to me. And your friend as well. Yeah, just one on top of each other. Deserve. More coins. And we get full base right here, right now. Yeah, all of this is really bad. Vigor refreshing is bad. Shield is unique. It's interesting. Bada beam, bada boom, a legendary. Let's take a look. 15,000. For a resi- Why is, What the fuck is this? Resi empowering breaker, shooter stance, strength heavy. Um, yeah, we're gonna take shards. We're gonna take it. Uh, we've also finished an OPR. I forgot to up it by one. So this one is 174. Bang, and let's take a look. Always a blue great X. I need a good great X. This one could be resi shirking crit. And that could actually be all right on a bruiser. So let's just, for the sake of having it... Uh, let's go ahead and up this one. We have a lot of shards, so we can afford it. And even then, it's a complete disaster. I don't think I will ever run this, so let's salvage it for parts. There we go, finally. This makes me think there's possibility for me to get Invig like slash damage or something like that ring in the future. Invig hardy is cool and all, but obviously we have this one. But this one is in strength, so it's kind of interesting. But at the same time, can't skip on 1.2k for free. We're gonna take that one. We're gonna move OPR one up. Come on now, it's time we get something good. There it is. This has potential for a full biz. Big potential. Ref word. Resi shirking. Int con, we have to count it. We have to count it as a full beast, even though it's not something I wanted. There's beast number 20 on the account. So this can be easily used on a SNS VG point, on VG IG point heavy, even on, on medium. You can you can really run this. Oh, this guy was not watching. Oh, nice dodge. Got him though. He didn't make it. He didn't make it either. Watch this three in a row. Come on. There we go, three in a row, we take those. 
Oh, come on, hammer with shockwave. We really need it. Resi explosive arrow, but on int, but it's light shoes. So I might up this and sacrifice a little bit of like 10 points to run resi explosive arrow because it's pretty good actually. So I might up this and use them regardless. And then we got king speed thwart encounter. I'll see what this is, but it's chain fire. So it's not that good, the hammer. Uh, this one, resi explosive arrow could be huge. And it's refreshing ward. Why refreshing ward, man? Oh. Oh my god, that actually killed him. That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm killing everyone. Anything that can be medium, that has potential, I'm gonna start considering upping. For example, this Refreshing Vision Resi, all I'm looking for is Freedom Pieces. And then I can play Bruiser, like, pretty relaxingly. So Resi, Freedom Refreshing Vision, that is good. It's Resi Shirking Refreshing, honestly not bad, right? So then we have this, another Refreshing Evasion Resi. Uh, this one is Resi Shirking Evasion. So even this one, even this one, it's heavy body, I'm gonna up it. If it's, uh, even if it's just resi shirking, it could be good. Uh, this one is complete disaster. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, that's a salvage. Uh, freedom evasion. Okay, we're never gonna run this. I, I guess it's a good way for me to clear in the storage a bit. Hmm. All right, I have a couple of freedom pieces. Listen, if this one, whirlwind ref move, lands... It's actually not bad, but let's see. So Whirlwind life stealing is pretty ass. Vicious ref move wouldn't be complete disaster either. But it lands on sure footing. So all of these are complete disaster. So we can actually at least salvage them, get a little bit back. Got him. Got him. Oh my, that was beautiful. Surely I get something good. Freedom Ref Evasion. I don't know what I have. Ooh. Resi Physical Aversion. If this is Resi Freedom Physical Aversion, it actually could be solid. So I'm, I'm gonna up this. I'm gonna up both of these. I don't know what I'm using on my healer set right now. I'm already running Resi Freedom Evasion, so I don't think it's worth upping this. So we're just gonna lock it for now. Uh, Resi Freedom. Ooh. You know what? I will actually take this. It's Resi Freedom Cone I can run in on every build and Resi Freedom is super important. It's just a purple, but for now I don't have a Resi Freedom medium gloves, so we'll take it. Oh, great X, please just give me refreshing move and thwarting strikes and that's all I ever ask for. It's all I need. Oh, but look at this. Look at it. It's a complete disaster. <laughs> have you ever seen a worse great X? <sighs> I'm saving this one for the collection, man. This is a movie. That guy didn't make it. Oh my god, what a kill. Alright, the moment of truth. Is today the day where we get abyss? Void sturdy sturdy. Actually decent, but void is not really something that deals a lot of damage to you these days. So unlucky, but I mean, we'll keep it. Yeah. PP track. We have a uh, crippling for uh, pretty bad. Freedom elemental. I wish I could upgrade this to legendary. It could be base potential, but you can't. Unlucky. And then we have coins, right? So yoink. Not bad. All right. Boom, bam. Bis, bis. Come on. Boots. Con with freedom and an ending thaw. Hey yo, hold up. If this is resi, we, we have to count it. It's pretty good. And this one? Close, but pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's two and a half perker or two and a poop of a perker. Come on, be resi and we're good. Nah, but like today is really, we're just unlucky lately. Got him. Little musket. Little elemental refreshing. <laughs> Ruinous Vorpal Kinley Jagged. That has to be the worst thing I've seen all day, man. Wait a second. Void damage? No, it's hearty. I thought it was... If it was void damage in Vig, I would actually maybe take that. Alright, we have enchanting ties now. So we'll, we'll take those. Pretty nice for... 
quite a lot of builds. The first thing that comes to mind is like healer or mage. You can really run this. Got him. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's banned. That is really banned and unlucky, man. I mean, if this is Freezy Re Freedom Resi and Powering Breaker for a heavy, it's actually good on point. So we might up this. It's Freedom... Was that Shirking? Freedom Shirking and Powering Breaker. Interesting. We'll keep it, though. Got both. That was kind of smooth. Oh, what a shot. Okay, first Sword of the Champion. Already have it, unfortunately. Let's take some... Uh, oof. Not a lot of salt, actually. I'm gonna just take more salt for this one. And then I'm gonna take this. And then I'm gonna take this. And then I'm gonna get a full bis. Ooh! Okay, Wildfire Torch is actually... Right now, for me, a very good fire stuff. Like, very, very good fire stuff. So I'm pretty happy to get this. I wouldn't count it as bis. But if we take a look at the fire stuff that I'm using, which is Keen Speed, Keen Vicious, this one is definitely going to be a big improvement on the damage dealt in general. So this is a huge W for the account. We're going to definitely probably bump this one up to like 6 to 3. And looks like we also got a good rapier with Keen and Chain Void. Let's take a look what the, what the last one is. Keen Vicious Chain Void, not bad. Right now, I am using Keen Vicious. So simply, simply put, straight up upgrade. No questions asked there. Oh my, so much damage. Oh, beautiful. Ain't no way, come on. Dude, 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 imagine. Pillar killing powered vicious right here, right now. Okay, three potentials. Let's take a look. Strength with repulsing clear out. I'm not, I'm not throwing this one away. Dex with trenchant. <gasps> oh, Ooh, this could be huge. King speed trenchant strikes fully charged heavy attacks deal more damage that's exactly what you want on a great sword and here we go here we go here we go here we go this is potential right here the king speed is also super good so let's see if we get another like damage booster on this we're gonna be very happy so let's take a look um obviously i can't get attunement because of opr right uh but keen man ah it's king king speed like we'll take it i think this might be my best great sword Nice kill there. Go in the air and I'm gonna detto as well. And now I'm gonna spin and he will die. Just like that. Oh, what a kill. It is time. It's time to get something good, honestly. We get an int con with elemental aversion and empowering breaker. Um, taking a look at what I have right now. Ooh, this might be upable then. This might be upable. If this is elemental resi empowering breaker, it's gonna be better than whatever this is. It's freedom. Freedom elemental, wait. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. Like, sure, I drop one resi, right? But if I then get my... I think I even have like a dex legs that are uh, resi freedom elemental so i think i can play this but now i need an onyx so right now my mage setup looks like this I, I will just have like 15 wasted points but we have resi freedom elemental resi freedom elemental freedom elemental empowering obviously if that was resi right um then we have freedom elemental resi and then boots aren't ideal at the moment. And I don't think I have a freedom elemental resi with decks. But they are they are shirking, so it's still a freedom resi piece. So we are now rocking five freedom on the on the mage build. Oh we're nasty with it today, let me tell you. Oh my I just finessed this poor healer man. Vicious plague crits bad, bad. Take that. This, I can feel it. I can feel it. Con focus, Vigor Resi Ward. Unlucky. Int con. <gasps> there it is. Potential. I don't like that it's Int con and. Uh, ah, pain and suffering, but very good potential regardless for an IGVG build. Hi. You hate to see it, bro. Sturdy energy. Sword and Shield VG would be bis for that specific build, but like I can't count this as bis. Like I, I'm sorry, but I can't.
<laughs> got him. <laughs> That's such a satisfying kill. Poor guy got stuck in a rock. No. No. I wish I could make this legendary, but I can't. Another wildfire torch. Already have this one maxed out. Ooh, potential for a phenomenal spear. Chain and Kinley. That's really good. So we got chain vicious. Ooh, vicious is really good. If it was Kin, I wouldn't be that happy, but Vicious is phenomenal. This might actually be a full beast spear, unironically. This is extremely good. Obviously, full beast for our account because there's like no attunement and stuff. But this is three damage multipliers. This is 100% a lock and probably an item we're gonna take all the way to 625 gear score. I think this one, we have to count it as a beast. Obviously, we just cannot get attunement on our account, so this is as good as it gets. Finally, a nice piece. Took us a while. Oh, what a kill. And another one. Yeah, don't fuck with me, buddy. Because when you fuck with me, you fuck with the best. Okay, I see a lot of potential here. A lot of potential. This is medium hat. I need to... Okay, I'm good. <clears throat> One sec, water break. Maybe if at some point I really need nullifying oblivion, I could up this. I will up this regardless, just to kind of see what we get. Refreshing evasion health. Let's up this, see, see what we get. We get a stem recovery health refreshing evasion versus stem recovery health shirking and power. I think this one's slightly worse. This is pretty bad, unlucky. That is slash sturdy ref evasion, not the best. Condex, medium, unlucky, and focus, ass. That's one. For the loot number 199, surely we pull a full of this. Heavy Condex, Focus, with not the best, and then another Chain Vicious Spear. I mean, we just pulled a Chain Vicious Kinley Jagged. Let's see if I can do, let's see if we can get even better one. Okay, so now I have Chain Vicious Kinley Empowered, and I also have Chain Vicious Kinley Jagged. Which one is better? I don't know, but they're both actually decent. Items.